Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. We are on episode 4 and things are moving very very quickly. So what I've been up to is quite a lot of work and preparation. I mean the most important thing that I've done is I've made Professor Beak a proper home instead of just standing on the floor here. And what he's proven to me is that he's actually some sort of deity as he's floating. He can fly. I know parrots can normally fly but he can fly without flying. Well done, Professor Beak. You win. And over here in the passive farm room, I retrofitted the bone meal farm into an XP farm, and I've been letting this tick over until all of this fills up. I have no idea how much XP is stored in here. Oh my goodness, 43 levels instantly just from letting that tick away. That is really, really nice. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. Well, this one is ticking away as it as it goes, so we'll leave that, and then we can have another 40-odd levels when we need it. So it's good to have this stored up just in case. I'm probably going to die now and lose all of them. So, what's next for the base? Well, I'm very quickly outgrowing this hobbit hole. It's a fantastic start, and there's only one or two more things that I'd like to do. But I think the first thing we've got to do is send a message to Mumbo with our new system. I, I don't even I don't even know what I'm gonna send him. I'm just gonna send him random rubbish all the time. Pesky bird. I do hope that he enjoys my little presents. Off you go. <laughs> oh he's gonna have so much junk mail. He's gonna regret letting that happen. So I've cleared out this space because later on I would like to fill this up with some sort of super smelter because I am finding that there's some things that I want to do like loads and loads of sand and I just don't have the facilities. But overall the hobbit hole is coming together really really nicely. Now outside you did see that I had been working on this. Now this is for a very specific reason. I actually need to get my hands on just a few villagers. Not a full on trading hall but I just need a couple so that I can get some very specific items. So we need to transport two villagers all the way over here. But first, I'm going to make them a quick place to live, somewhere that fits in with the hobbit hole. It's, you know, gonna be quite nice. And then we've got to go and get them. So let's quickly finish off this build. No, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'm gonna time lapse this and I'll uh, be right back. This should do the trick. There's plenty of space within this sort of greenhouse type thing that I've made to see what all the villagers are up to. There'll be enough space for the beds and I've got enough of these little pocket holes for them to be able to be traded with. Now the actual issue I have to solve is getting the villagers here. And Mumbo's kindly said I can borrow some, but they're all the way that way, and I've counted, it's about 900 blocks. Yeah, let me repeat that, 900. So I've crafted up a bunch of rails, and we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way. You can do this by boat or by rail. I figured the path of least resistance is the rails. So, unbelievably, and I mean, this is really excessive, we need to take this rail and take it all the way over to wherever Mumbo's made his little iron farm. All right, so, oh man, here we go. It's there, it's there. I, I can't believe I actually had enough rails to get here. And we have arrived and they're waiting for me. Now I've never done this before so I have no idea if this actually works. This is like such an old school method of transporting. Instead of powering this all with redstone uh, power rails, what I'm hoping to do is just get one of these guys into a minecart. And there we go. And then what I'm hoping to do is literally just power one of these and watch it go. I don't know how this works though. Will it power it up the- oh my goodness. This is so much easier. Well he's off. He's off. He's properly off. He's picking up some speed. Alright. Bye villager number one. 
<laughs> oh dear. All right, let's send the other ones along with him. That went a little bit more smoothly than I thought it would, to be honest with you. Not bad at all. We've got all of our villagers here, safe and sound for the most part. We just need to, uh... uh and, and they've all become unemployed. This is absolutely perfect. We need to install just a very quick food dispenser. <laughs> They're like guinea pigs in here. Oh dear. Uh, so right, need to get rid of them without hurting them. Uh oh. No, don't, please don't. They're gonna try and leave immediately, so that's not gonna happen. And now we feed them bread. <laughs> uh, I need to put down the beds. I think we could do like a bunk bed system or we can just uh, just put them all in a line like this. And then all we gotta do is uh, kind of get them to, to, you know, make more villagers. Yeah, take the bread. More bread, more bread for you. Share the bread, share the bread. Now what? I'm not really sure what they're doing. <laughs> they're like, food, food from above. Hey, hey, it's a, it, the miracle of life. Okay, we're definitely doing the right thing. Sweet, okay, next stage. Do we want to get rid of this? Or is this a very easy way to get to the, the villager breeder if I need to? I'll leave this up just for a little while longer, just in case I need it. But what I am going to need is a heck of a lot more bread. Welcome to the world, little one. The gods give us bread. I need somewhere with a bit more space so I can grow more wheat, because I haven't really been preparing for this moment that well. Honestly, I didn't expect it to be that easy to get them here. This track took like 10 minutes, and then it was a couple of minutes for them to get back. Things never go this smoothly on Minecraft, not for me. Maybe I'm getting better at the game. I need to get my villager numbers up. Hey, look, he's got a little jungle outfit on. Why aren't you guys jungle villagers? That's so cute. I need more beds. I need more bread. That should do for at least a little while. That will help with the situation. One of them should become a, uh, a, a, a dude. No, no, no. Wrong one. Hey, why didn't that work? That's weird. Why did, now, why did that work while I was standing on it? What? I don't know how that- I didn't do anything there. Everything I know about redstone just went out the door. Did seriously that block make a difference? No? Alright, well, whatever I guess. Let's see what this guy is willing to give me. We're getting some emeralds built up, this is excellent. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no, trading with it locks- I forgot that trading locks the- Oh, I'm a fool! Oh, I forgot. Oh, I just realized that when you trade, it locks them. It locks them in, and that's it. Job done forever. So, yeah, I messed that guy up. Let's see about him. He wants flame. All right, I'm going to cycle through these villagers, and I'm going to keep giving them bread, and I'm going to see where we get to on this whole thing. Uh, I'm quickly learning a lot about villagers. I honestly didn't- I've never done this before, not properly. I've only used them for trading with uh, carrots and such. So I've now learned that they uh, they just frequently decide to check. Oh, feather falling four is not bad. It's very expensive, mainly because I punched a villager or two. I think I might lock that in. And also the children have escaped and they're playing all over their house. But when it's nighttime, they all go in. To, they all go into bed. It's it's actually really really cute. So I don't know whether I should leave this in. They could just uh, when when the sun goes down, all the kids have to go in uh, back home. He doesn't. He doesn't seem to want. You know what? Villagers are such a pain. I might ask Mumbo what he thinks. 
Can he? I might need to ask for a little bit of help. Mumbo, how do villagers work? Asking for... Mumbo, how do villagers work? Uh, now, I don't want him to think I'm silly, so uh, asking for a friend. Tell you what, I'm just going to use this that he's sent me. Mumbo, how do villagers work? Asking for a friend. I think he's just sending me junk, because I sent I sent him some junk mail. Oh! Oh, no, it's not. It's a sapling, but it's got so it's got coordinates on it. Maybe Mumbo's got a present for me. Anyway, Mumbo, how do villagers work? Asking for a friend. There we go. And off it goes. I love this. I seriously, seriously love this messaging system that we've got going on. But now, oh, this this has opened a whole new bag of worms. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Mystery coordinates. I need to prepare. What am I going to wear? What am I going to wear? <laughs> I'm in one of those situations where I can't be bothered. This is where my storage system starts go- Oh, I need that. This is where my storage system starts going to, to heck, actually, because I, I, I end up getting lazy and then this happens. Um, this is how chest monsters start. Alrighty then. Let's see if you've decided to change your attitude. No, you have not. Alright, well, let's follow these coordinates. Wait, where are they? Uh, no, this direction and that direction. Follow the random sapling's instructions. This is very unlike Mumbo. I can't wait to get my hands on some elytra. It's so painful to travel through the jungle, honestly. We're getting pretty close now. Uh, minus seven two, seven six two. This is huge. Ah, we've gone, okay, I don't think this is it. I'm about 300 blocks away, but what on earth is this gigantic thing? What is this enormous structure? All made out of logs. Oh my goodness. This scares me a little bit. People are already starting on their mega bases. I haven't even finished my hobbit hole. Pesky bird. Ah, I've, got, I've totally gone the wrong way. Why is it so hard to follow coordinates now? I'm just terrible. I'm meant to be here. Has he sent me on a wild goose chase? Is, is this his idea of a joke? Just send me somewhere where there's- Ooh, pesky bird. I don't know what I'm supposed to be finding here. A jungle temple? Nothing. This has already been completely taken. Uh, it can't be this. This has already been ransacked, unless this is meant to be it. I must have gotten something wrong here. Just a couple more. Oh, it must be nearly there. 762 and- oh! Oh, F oh, finally, this is buried so deep in the jungle. Okay, is there any instructions for me? What is that? What is that? There's machinery. That looks fancy. That looks really fancy. What have we got here? Put that there. So this is, hold on, let me just double check. I'm not messing, Z minus seven, six, two. Yeah, this is definitely the spot. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Jeez! Oh! That just passed straight through my head! Ooh! I'm scared. Is there a bed here? 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 So what am I supposed to do? Can I eat two cookies? I'm gonna eat both cookies. Ooh! Where's the bed though? Where's the Hermit challenges! I don't know what Mumbo's on. Is there a bed? Initiation. Oh, oh God. <laughs> what are you talking? What are you? What? Initiation. Hermit challenges. What? What is that? What? What even? What even is that? Did I do something wrong? Did I do the thing right? Did I win the? Did I win the game? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Please explain. Please explain. I'm gonna, uh, I, I'm gonna have to hop into a call. I shall. Initiation, I shall. <laughs> Mitch challenges. <laughs> what is this? What is this insanity? <laughs> Mumbo, can you please explain? Hermit challenges. Initiation. Congratulations, dude, you're in. Hermit challenges initiation. You did in it. What? Nicely done. No, in you're what? in. You're in. Herm you initiated perfect. That was a flawless initiation. What you, do you, you hit mean? the bell. 
You set fire to the thing really nicely. You did it in a slightly different order. You've eaten both cookies. Uh, yeah, the... I had, I had <laughs> some issues. You went <laughs> you, wait, wait, you can't be you're super initiated dude you put you put some coordinates down and went yep. here and yep. you had some cookies like did you seriously expect me not to eat the cookies well no that was the kind of the point i mean i i kind of thought if i just gave you some coordinates you would make your way there i then knew that if i if i put some buttons on things including some cookies in the mix uh you know hermit challenges initiation so did you're I win, in you're... so i won the challenge i won the hermit challenge no, 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 not at all. In fact, the, the challenges have just begun, my friend. And because you ate both cookies, you're now in for life. There's definitely no leaving. Most people kind of have a slight leaving cause, but you have twice as much sacred I'm biscuit so inside confused. you. I'm so confused. This wasn't the challenge. No, 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 of course not, dude. Of course not. You see these three pieces of paper right here. What you need to do is you need to write out three challenges for me, right? I'm going to write out three challenges for you. And then we do the old switcheroo. I chuck mine into that dropper. You chuck yours into this dropper. We hit the buttons and hermit challenges. Hermit challenges. Um, hermit challenges. Okay. Say what, it with me. What kind of hermit challenges? Good. What, what kind of anything? anything? Anything. What kind of anything? What kind exactly. Of, uh, Hermit challenges. Let's do it. Cool. All what? right. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Anvil's up at the top. Get busy. Get I'm, to it. I have no idea and... what to even write. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea what to t I don't understand. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? what? <clears throat> Look, I know you're new here. Okay. <laughs> Oh, now you're triply initiated. <laughs> you need to calm it down. <laughs> so, uh, no, you're not supposed to know, right? So I'm um, type this secretly. Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, you know what? I'll turn my back. I'll walk behind this rock over here, uh, okay. and uh, yeah, we can we can get back to talking terms in like a couple minutes once we've sorted out our challenges. Uh, I don't know what's right. <laughs> All right, I'm only gonna, I'm only going to show the audience here, Mumbo, what you've got. So you got this one, uh, this one. And this one. I have no idea if these are uh, good challenges or not, but uh, good luck with that. All challenges are good challenges and hermit challenges, my friend. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so you put your three in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to? Are you ready for your first challenge of hermit challenges? Yeah. I, yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, three, three, two, two one. Boom. I don't even want to look. I don't even want to look. <laughs> Get uh, good lol. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Get good lol. Okay, that was the first. Listen, that was the first one I did because I had no idea what I was supposed to be doing. I take it back. That when I said that there's no such thing as a bad challenge in Hermit Challenges, this is a. <laughs> what on earth is this? <laughs> well, well, you know, you got to get good. <laughs> All right, well, what challenge did you get? <laughs> this, what you're feeling right now with Get Good is how I felt when you made me come here. <laughs> right, okay, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. All right, what challenge did you get? I'm curious. Okay, okay, okay. Steal front doors for entire season. Steal f front doors, like everyone's yeah. house door. Yeah, yeah, front yeah, yeah. Uh, everyone's front door, yeah. Like, do you I... You have to do that do yeah, for the whole season. Do I, for the whole no, no. season? Yeah, the whole season, dude. Do you... Nobody's allowed a front door. Do you... you have to be the one that takes all their front doors. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't the challenge... <laughs> I, like, out of all the challenges that I, I put into the dropper, that might have been the most extreme one. But you know what? I'm quite, I'm quite glad that you got it. <laughs> you are joking. I don't know if and I the... can do this. What happens if I don't do this? Can I just leave? Can I just not well, no, do no, no, this? Well, no, 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 no. Okay, fine. If you don't want to do it, all right, then what you really don't want to do is this. What did you do? Did you just burn it? What? Well, yeah. So yeah, I, can, I can forfeit it by throwing it in the fire. No, no. I said... If you don't want to do it, what you really don't want to do is this. I threw it in saying I've accepted the challenge. You... Oh, no! Did you not listen? Did you not hear anything <laughs> that I just said? Dude, <laughs> you threw it into the fire! You've now got to remove doors for the whole season, dude. This, uh, this is so... such nonsense. Fantastic. Well, I look forward to seeing... Well, actually, I've got a front door, so if anything, I'm a little bit upset <laughs> that... I really like my front door, but I feel it's going to go missing at some point in the near future and can never come back, wait, wait, which wait, is a wait, real wait. shame. I have one question. But... I have one question. Okay, yeah, I... yeah. Do I do that? Does everyone know or do I keep this a secret? I mean, that's entirely up to you, but I think if they know that you're the one that's stealing all their front doors, no one's going to like you. So I personally would keep this between you and me, you know? Anyway, Hermit Challenges, congratulations on your initiation, dude. I'll see you in the next episode. We can compare progress and things, obviously. You know, I mean... 
<laughs> I'm gonna be honest, you won't have completed your challenge by the next episode. We might have to meet up at the end of the season and discuss how well you've managed to do. But I want to see at least some evidence that you've uh, that you've done some door removal. Fantastic, dude! It's been nice seeing you as always. Uh, and um, yeah, I'll 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 come back when I'm good. I guess. Oh uh, yeah, get, get get good. What just <laughs> happened here? I'm genuinely not quite sure what just happened. Do we? I mean, I'm now faced with a choice. I either steal everyone's door secretly and hide it um, for the rest of the season, no less, or I don't. Or I don't. Yeah, I think this is mine. <laughs> I think we got our first door. Of course we're gonna do it. Our reputation as a hermit is on the line here. We're gonna need somewhere to store all of these doors, past and future. Oh, and I also have a little bit more of a trading thing going on here. And this is why, because I can get rid of all this rotten flesh from my XP farm. So useful. We should make a room. I don't know where this room is going to be. It should be secret somehow. Ooh, maybe it could be somewhere around here. Okay, yeah, we're going to make a secret room for all of our stolen doors. And that's where we're going to store them. Okay, guys, this literally only works if you don't tell people, okay? Just don't tell them. Don't tell the other hermits what's going on. Be on the challenge with me. We're going to steal the doors, and we're not going to let anybody know. I will make this room pretty at some point, but for now, we have got our first door. Good times with scars. So, bye-bye door. I will be back with some more friends for you, but I will need an elytra to take this even further, because I'll be honest, I don't know where everyone's base is, and it's going to be difficult if you're just traveling by- Hang on, I've got, I've got another message here. Or maybe I didn't send it off. Nope, nobody- <laughs> I, I asked him- I asked him if he- if he knew how villagers were, he said nobody knows. Uh, that's good to know. This- this messaging system's amazing. Okay, so I think that's all we're gonna have time for today, but my goodness, did- did we actually get some things done? We've got our first ever trading hall, but you know, the design of this is actually pretty foolish because I've only got three villager spaces. So I think I will uh, retrofit this so that I can use the back for more villagers. Ooh, ooh, anything, anything, anything? Nope, nope, nothing good. So I'm afraid that's it for today's video. Thank you very, very much for watching. This season has been absolutely amazing so far. And I can't wait to see where we go next. Hermit challenges. Whose door should we get next? You decide. Tell me in the comments. Goodbye.